We begin in Arusha, which is the most convenient point of entry unless you want to save a few bucks by driving in from Nairobi, but less hassle on your honeymoon is much better than less expense. Believe me. Arusha is the centerpiece for the Big Five North Tanzania destinations. And between all of them, we have a very good chance to see all of the Big Five game. We'll just need a good driver to get us everywhere and show us everything. Really, the only finger we want to lift on this journey is the one for our cameras. Yeah, this is a depend on you and your driver. There are other drivers can be the, it's a drunker. This is not a good driver. Now, she's not really big on being on camera, so I'm gonna probably have to do most of the talking, but uh, you're gonna get us some pretty pictures, right? Yeah. Okay. Our first stop is just a couple hours drive to the Terengira National Park. The first thing we notice are all the old and majestic baobab trees, which make for a skyline that unmistakably establishes our location. This is Africa. Throw all the different wildlife into the mix and that clears up any doubt. We've seen this in pictures and on the screen, but it really doesn't translate the reality that lies just beyond the safety of the truck. But then we get to the lodge and realize we've actually immersed ourselves into this wild sanctuary. And it's an overwhelming sight. The things which makes Tarangiria to be different from the other parks is the river. Being here in October, the water supply is down to the little that flows through the Terengita River, which means all these animals have to make dangerous migrations from safety to necessity and back every day. And we have stadium seating for the show. Today would be seemingly a safe trek for all. Surprisingly, Terengira is one of the least visited of the northern Tanzania game parks, but as a result, it maintains a truly untouched air of Africa. It covers almost 1,800 square miles and hosts diverse and reliable game. The best time to see all this wildlife is around mid-August, when the dry season's at its peak and they all congregate. January begins the calving season, so the little ones can be around for all the fresh grass in April and May which is when the water's plentiful, so all the game is more dispersed, but the landscape is actually greener. So really, there's pros and cons for any time of year to visit. Sometimes it's the fleeting moments like this that you can only time with luck. 